my channel is your favorite lifestyle and wellness coach Gianni Hibbert guys thank you so much for joining to my newcomers hi guys don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button don't forget to comment because I love speaking with you guys so drop a comment and let's jump straight into our video so as you guys can see my background is a little bit different today because I'm coming to you from not the kitchen so we're not doing any wellness videos today in terms of our physical health or weight loss or anything like that. I just felt like with the climate and everything that's going on in the world right now, I just needed to sit down with you guys and just give some words of encouragement and just share some things that I'm doing myself and for my household and my family to keep us grounded during this really different, unusual, chaotic time. And I was recently talking to an elderly woman that was letting me know that she didn't even go through this and she's in her 70s and she's been through of course recessions like we all have we lived through the 2008 recession i know i did very very tough time for me personally as i was a real estate agent at that time so everyone knows what happened with the housing market and it was very very tough so there are lessons that i took from that time that i implemented for this time that i'm going through but we all have never seen this before so it's been pretty rough for a lot of people and um, my heart goes out to you guys and I really and truly hope that you're staying as grounded as you can because, you know, you have to remain positive regardless of what's going on. So I truly hope that you use that as your anchor. So I want to share three of things that I'm doing just to give you guys some type of roadmap to just get through all this chaos that we're all experiencing together because we're all in this together. Whether or not we want to believe that, we were all on lockdown together. Some of us are still social, social distancing like myself. And, um, you know, sometimes we just need that little pull. So let's get started. One of the first things that I'm doing to keep myself grounded is to ensure that I never stray from my prayer life. If you guys only knew how important it is, because for me, a woman of faith, a believer, I firmly believe that all things come through and flow through the Creator, which is God. And therefore, if that's the case, why would I go somewhere else or attach myself, my thoughts, my feelings, my soul to anything else besides going to the being that orchestrated my life, created me? you know, knows my purpose, knows my path, protects me, provides, preserves me daily. What's the point of going anywhere else? And I've learned throughout the years as a woman of a certain age that I can't just keep doing things the way that I choose to do them. I did not create myself, so why would I continue to lean on my own understanding? With everything that's going on right now, you guys, it's completely outside of my scope spiritually and all of that. I know that this is not something that I can navigate on my own. So I have to take it to the Creator. In the mornings, I make sure that I gather my family and we pray if my husband's away on business meetings. Uh, of course, not much of that's going on right now because of the pandemic. But we gather our family together, our girls, um, and we get on the phone and we pray. We read the verse of the day or the scripture of the day and we ensure that we start our day no matter what with the word of god because i can't imagine getting through life on a normal day much less in a time like now without clinging to him without getting to know him on a deeper level building a new step to our relationship because i personally know that globally right now we need him. We absolutely need him. So I'm very big on setting up a prayer corner. In my prayer corner, I typically have either a bean bag or a bean bag with pillows. I make it really comfortable. It's also my meditation space. I have a Bible, I have a pen, and I have a notepad. So when I'm reading the word, if there's something that stands out to me and I want to write it down, to either share with my family or something that I can revert back to later, something that stood out to me, I can go back and refer to that. So definitely get on your knees, pray, 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 and prayer. Nothing beats prayer. So get to it. 
Number two, self-care. I upped my self-care because I had all the time in the world, you guys. And because we're so privy to everything going on in the world, we see it on the news, we see it on social media, we have fingertip access to everything. And after a while, that can take a toll on you emotionally, psychologically. So you have to, at some point, take the initiative to take care of what's going in your air gates, what's entering your mind. You have complete control over that. And I find, especially in a time like this, you do have to stay informed. You do have to stay educated because that's another thing I started doing. I started reading more and, you know, just becoming more familiar with the things around me um, currently, globally, all that. And also with the things that I wanted to get into before that I just did not have the time to or never felt that I needed to carve out time for, I started doing those things. But you want to ensure that you take care of the things that you allow to go into your mind. Be mindful of that. That is a part of self-care, which a lot of people tend to either overlook or just don't count as self-care. Super, super important. So take care of your mind. Be kind to your own thoughts. Be careful of the negative self-talk that you may be giving yourself, especially right now. It's extremely hard to do that at times, but again, go back to step one. That is where you're going to find your power, your source, your strength. Believe me, we're all human. We've all gone through these things. We've all gone through the self-doubt, and you cannot do it on your own. So be careful of what you feed yourself. Your thoughts are very, very important because they turn out to be your actions, and those in turn end up to be your results. Let it be desired results. So keep those thoughts as positive as possible now self-care physically I upped my workout routine which has been amazing guys I gotta tell you I feel better physically because I've upped the diet in terms of incorporating more smoothies more fruits more vegetables because again your overall care it's important it's important your mind your body your soul all those things tied together so if you're taking care of your mind but you're not taking care of your body eventually your body is going to corrupt your mind because everything's going to slow down you're going to start feeling sluggish everything that's going on around you is going to start affecting you even more because of course, your endorphins, all those great hormones, they're going to start getting affected by the things that you're putting in your body. So as much as you think it may not take precedence over everything else going on right now, it is super, super, super important, you guys. Please take care of your bodies. I'm doing uh, two workouts per day. I'm doing the Chloe Ting Challenge. Sis is... Girl... Look, I'm, I'm gonna have to call you because you, you you're out here changing lives, but you're out here like <laughs> having me laid out on the floor, lifeless for like God knows how long because it's that serious. But it's so effective and it's so good. And then after all the pain and it's all said and done, you look amazing and you feel even better. So guys, do what you need to do to take care of your bodies. Okay, and the third thing that I'm personally doing is I'm paying more attention to my finances. I pay more attention to my finances in terms of not getting jammed up and caught up like I did in 2008, which I'm nowhere near what I used to be in 2008. Broke, busted, disgusted, destitute. Thank God he has been wonderful to me during the pandemic and he's blessed me even through it all. So I'm super, super grateful. And being more mindful based on the experiences, not just from the prior recession, but also understanding that, understanding that we are not out of the woods yet. And this is not something that should just pre, you know, preface a pandemic or an emergency that we're having right now. This is something that should be incorporated into your everyday life, no matter what pandemic or not. You wanna make sure that you're mindful of your spending. You wanna make sure that you're looking into your investments. If you're a real estate investor like myself, you wanna start looking into the rates, the properties, You know, start preparing for that. Because honestly, guys, we do not know what's ahead, which is why it's imperative that we plan for the future. It's important to be cognizant of your current situation, assess it extremely well because no one knows your situation better than you do and you want to plan accordingly for the immediate necessities, which takes precedence over everything because your immediate survival is key. That's key.
no matter what anybody says, that's key. So you want to go ahead and be mindful of that. So again, I'm paying attention to my savings. You know, I use the Digit app. That's something that you guys could look into. It helps you to put away funds even when you're not thinking about putting away funds. Um, I have something set up for my daughter as well for her to save. It's really, really important, guys, because I know a lot of what's facing people right now in terms of the hardships and the negativity um, of the whole pandemic is their finances. And you don't want to continue to get caught in this vicious cycle of not knowing what tomorrow brings or having no clue where you're going to get one percent to rub against the next one. So please, please, please be mindful of those things. I know I said it was three, but I'm gonna throw an extra one in there. I'm being more intentional about the time that I spend with my friends and family, especially because we cannot physically be around each other. I ensure that I pencil it in to my agenda for the day. I have alarms set throughout the day for not just myself, but my family follows that same routine where we ensure that we're drinking our water, we're doing our deep breathing, we're taking care of our businesses, we're taking care of schoolwork, we're doing self-care, all of that. And in between all of that, I ensure that I say, okay, this is time. This time is allotted for me to speak to my best friend. This time is allotted for me to speak to any other friends that I want to catch up with, my mom. If I have to call my husband, I do so. My husband and I, we talk all the time anyway, but <laughs> for everyone else, I have to make sure that I'm mindful of that because it's almost like a out of sight, out of mind type of thing. Even though we love these people, we tend to forget sometimes that, oh my gosh, I forgot to call back so-and-so or, you know, oh my gosh, I haven't heard from so-and-so in a while. I haven't, you know, hit them up. Let me go ahead and do that. And because of the responsibilities, because even though the pandemic is going on, I still have tons of things to do. So I make sure that I pencil it in and say, hey, I got to call this person back because we are going through a very, very strange time. And you just never know who's going to be here tomorrow and who isn't. So pay attention to your loved ones. Call them up. We live in an age that no one has ever been privileged enough to live in before, obviously. Um, for our ancestors, utilize your resources. I know we're stuck at home for the most part. We're starting to trickle out slowly. As for me, I'm cool on that. I'm a big traveler, but I will not be traveling to 2021, um, especially outside of the U.S., but you utilize this time to get to connect with people in ways that you haven't before. We've been, you know, my friends and I have been doing virtual parties, you know, virtual happy hours, that type of stuff. Use what you have and keep yourself happy. Again, remember to pray, connect with God, up that self-care if you haven't done it before. Start now. Now is the best time because you need to love on yourself now more than ever. And three, pay attention to your finances and bonus please connect with your loved ones spend time with them reach out to them love on them all right so that's it for me this week you guys thanks for watching don't forget to hit the like subscribe button and comment i will see you guys next week with another video thank you to my new subscribers you guys are so awesome i'm loving the questions i think i'm gonna do a q a for my videos coming up just one of the future near future videos coming up i'll do a q a because i'm getting some questions and they're pretty good questions they're pretty good questions about your your physical wellness my words of encouragement to you are to stay grounded stay positive stay in prayer he will protect he will prosper and he will provide for you he will preserve you as long as you cling to him all right guys so thanks for joining i will catch you guys in the next video mwah, 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 mwah.